There's something about his face that I just want to punch. I just hate everything about him. The way he talks. <laughs> he smells kind of weird. It's going to be a fun night to punch him in the mouth. I'm here with Bilal Muhammad, ahead of the main event at UFC 304. Now, Bilal, how was the preparation? I mean, how are you feeling? Great. Uh, it's finally here. Fight week. Uh, hopefully a couple more days to go. And uh, man, time to have fun. Bilal, your UFC record speaks for itself. You have the second highest unanimous decision victories in the UFC. The second highest takedown defenses in the welterweight division. Only 3.3%, nothing to sneeze at Bilal. Are you underrated in the UFC? What do you want to say to your haters? I mean, keep hating. I'm just going to keep winning. Doesn't matter to me. I mean, you can pat me on my shoulder, you give me my flowers, I'll take it. But like you said, my team, my family, we all know how good we are and that's all that really matters to me. You've had a lot to say about Leon Edwards throughout this week and throughout the last few months. Bilal, did you say, did you say Leon? You've said that you're gonna submit him and then let him up and you're gonna beat him down while talking to his corner. You've said you're gonna throw your mouth guard at him after you get the victory. Are you coming in confident or you just back your abilities? Oh, this is the most confident I've ever been. I'm telling you, it's gonna be an easy night. And uh, if you're a Manchester fan of Leon Edwards, uh, you better switch the bandwagon hop right now. And uh, I'll let you guys touch the belt. What makes you so confident going into this fight? Is it the training camp with Habib's team? What's make you, you know, kind of step up to another level? Uh, I mean, training camp with my team in Chicago. We mm. have. Uh, we have a dominant squad there. We haven't lost uh, together. And we just been doing all the right stuff. And you guys saw me in my last fight on three weeks notice, dominate Gilbert Burns. Now you're giving me literally a year to train for Leon Edwards, who I dislike. It's gonna be a fun night to punch him in the mouth. What do you most dislike about Leon Edwards? There's something about his face that I just wanna punch. Mm. His face, the way he whispers, the way he talks, the way he smells kind of weird. Okay. So like just everything that's around him, his brother, his mm. coach. I just hate everything about him. So you'd prefer if he enunciates his word a little bit more instead of mumbling? I'm a champion. Like, speak, speak like a man. Okay. Say it with your chest. That's a fair criticism. Last time I interviewed Sean Strickland, he had a lot to say about you. He called you, he called you a bitch on camera. It's not your fucking little bitch, bro. What do you want to say to Sean Strickland? He's not really worth my time, unless he wants to fight in the cage, which we've offered multiple times. Mm -hmm. But like I said, so many people look at him and they think he's just crazy guy. He's a fake guy. He's one of those guys that acts crazy for the internet, for the clout, but he goes back home and sits there and watches Saturday Night Cartoons. Behind the camera, he's soft. Do you think that fight could eventually happen? I mean, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it. If he ends up getting the belt back somehow, I'm gonna go for my double champ status if he's up there with it. Uh, otherwise, he come back. if he comes on back down to Walter Ray, I'll let him do it. Or if the UFC wants to do another BMF uh, sort of belt, mm -hmm. I'll slap him around the cage for free. You've said Drakus is the easiest path to double champ status. Are you going for Drakus against Israel Adesanya in Perth? Am I going, well, I want him to win? I don't know, I don't think he's gonna win that fight. I think Izzy's gonna win, but if he ends up winning, he brought up my name, right? Like, they, I got asked the question, they asked him if it's an Islam to go with double champ status, and I said, bro, he can skip me, go straight up to yeah. beat Driscus. People don't know how good he is, but I mean, if Driscus wants to smoke, I'll smack him around. Now, the Olympics are on over in Paris, Bilal. If you had to pick a sport other than boxing or wrestling, because I know you're elite in those, which Olympic sport do you think you could win gold in? Uh, I would be in the, if, if I wasn't fighting right now, I'd be in the NBA, and I'd be like on the dream team 100%. Yeah, basketball. Yeah, yeah, like you guys gotta see me on the court. I would for sure be a professional. You got hops. Yeah, I got hops, I got everything. I chose to be a fighter, but like the NBA was calling me and everything, but I just said, nah, I'm cool right now. Whose spot do you think you would take on the dream team? I'd probably, I'd be a point guard. So mm. Steph Curry could probably come off the bench. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, they don't need his threes. I'd like to see Bilal dunk yeah. for the USA team. We don't need that, he's kind of soft, right? He's yeah. smaller, mm. he always gets hurt. Like You play that physical game. Yeah. I Play that big man game at Bingo. Now, we saw the UFC Fight Inc. documentary, gave us a backstage look into the UFC. I want to ask you, who's harder to negotiate with, Dana or Hunter? <laughs> oh man, both of them guys, right? Because they were easy to negotiate with. I would have had my title fight three years ago. Uh, but it's all good. But the thing about them is they keep their word. They both said I was going to be next, and they gave it to me. So uh, I love both of them. Now, yes, the fight is at 6 a.m. I want to ask you, how have you been preparing for this early fight here in the UK? My coach, uh, like in the movies, he'll wake me up in the middle of the night, throw water in my face. He'll be like, yo, we're going for a jog in Chicago. So we're, cool. we're like, we got to be ready any moment. Yeah, he'll like wake up, smack me in the face just randomly. And they're like, yo, we got to go train. So we've been prepared at doing everything, right? Some Rocky, this is some Rocky stuff. Yeah, this is straight like the movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we got it all documented, so it's all gonna be cool. I, I know you've seen the Conor McGregor recently dropped out of his main event with a pinky toe injury. If you had a pinky toe injury going into this main event, would you drop out below? I mean, if I if I was missing a pinky toe, I would never drop out of this fight. Like, I've been waiting for this fight for too long. Some, some men are men and some men are women.
Okay, yeah, that, that is true. It might be a controversial thing to say in 2024, but I think I agree with you now. We're in Manchester. Manchester United or Manchester City? Which one would you support? Man City. Man City? Yeah. But more successful? I like winners. Okay, you're going with the winners. Probably since 2015, but we, I understand. I want to get a final prediction for your fight. Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad 2. Who do you think wins and how? Uh, Bilal Muhammad dominates. That's going to be the headline. Dominates? Dominates. Submission, knockout, how do you want to do it? Bilal Muhammad makes it look easy. They're going to be like, who is this guy? What did he do? What is he taking? Who is his team? What's their plan? Write a book about it. Talk about it. We need a new motivational speaker about it because this guy's on another level. I, I, I'd love to see it. Bilal, best of luck. Good luck this weekend.